Hello everyone! Welcome back for another week of You Don't Know Jack. We're going in 30 seconds. Oh, hi. I'm Donnie. I need to know how many people would like to parfait in our little game. Parfait? One player. Okay. This should be a Febreze. Enter your name for me, if you please. No. Hmm. Seems you forgot the most important parts. Tell you what. Now your name is Nightwolf. Night Wolf because he works. is the nicest pimp I know. Fantastic. Now listen up for your instructionals. Awesome. Questions will ameliorize before you. Select the boutonniere next to the correct answer. And you have to watch out for the timer that's ticking away. The more promptly you buzz in, the more regal tender you'll make. Or squeender. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Ten seconds. Bye, Curious. And I get a mule check. Six. Five. That sounded more like a table dragging across the floor, really. Oh well. I'm Cookie Masterson, blah blah blah. Let's get to the game. <laughs> you telling me I came all this way for a one player game? Come yes. On. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by Rocky's Rodent Rockets. There's no time like the present to shoot your hamster into space. I'm gonna be looking Try to for choose the wrong answer something. brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, what are we waiting for? Bullwinkle or a flying squirrel or something like that. Right off the top, the preheat of the moment. How would you blanch Kate Blanchett? Bread her, then deep fry her? Put her in a smoker all day? Boil her, then drop her in ice water? Or marinate her and grill her? I think it's the third one. The process of blanching involves a okay. brief boil followed by a submersion in ice cold water. And before Kate Blanchett's people start writing us letters, I just want to say I would never dream of blanching her. I've had other dreams, but none about blanching her. Giggity. Take a good look at... TiVo didn't record the end of the... Man, it's a disor... That was fast. I'm gonna read off the titles of seven TV shows. For each one, I want you to tell me if... The title is a complete sentence, or the title is just a sentence fragment. If it's a complete sentence, press 1. If it's just a sentence fragment, press the number 2. Right I'm answers will fail get to 300. But answer wrong and you'll lose 300. Let's put a full 30 seconds up on the clock. Okay, let's move. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The New Adventures of Old Christine. America's Got Talent. America's Next Top Model. How I Met Your Mother. Curb Your Enthusiasm. What Not to Wear. Wow. Okay, here's a show with a title that's a complete sentence. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Hmm. Well, I'd say you're as smart as a fifth grader. Higher praise than I expected. Now, if I can only figure out if it was proper to call the show Doctor Who or Doctor Whom. This one's known as, hell if I know, who or what are Louisa, Leticia, Lucy, Lucretia, and Lou? Five first ladies of the United States, the dream girls and their manager, five hurricanes of the 2000s, or actress Lucy Lou's five sports cars? I'm gonna go with first ladies. Louisa Adams, Letitia Tyler, Lucy Hayes, Lucretia Garfield, and Lou. Yes, Lou Hoover. Five first ladies. The good thing about marrying a girl named Lou is you can be pretty sure she's not a man pretending to be a woman. Otherwise, she would have come up with a better name in order to trick you. Like if someone says her name is Amber and you date her for five months and she always looks real nice and then one day you're walking by the bathroom I mean, um, hypothetically speaking, this could happen to somebody else. Uh huh. Aw, oh, the funeral! The question that cares. It's time for the, 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 that's my carcass, folks. Suppose Porky Pig were processed into lunch meat and eaten by Elmer Fudd. Based eh. on the meat content, what would Elmer not be able to say while eating him? I love bologna. Sawami is my favorite. This pastrami tastes great. Or, Chowizo is so delicious. 
Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's go with chorizo. Chewies, no. Watch how easy this is. Salami, bologna, and chorizo contain pork. Pastrami, however, is made from beef. All those meats are great, but they can't even compare to the deliciousness of Roadrunner meat. I can only get my hands on one. Hmm. Maybe if I could get some roller skates and a rocket to tie to my back. Genius. I'm off to eBay. Where's the bomb girl? I'd pay to see Cookie do that. Ooh, yeah. Open wide for fashion for dummies. Hey, all you dockheads. Hi, Dilly. <clears throat> I mean, hi, Billy. Everyone, it's Billy O'Brien, my ventriloquist dummy. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. You're looking pretty snazzy in that tuxedo, Billy. Thanks, I got a hot date and I'm trying to spruce myself up. Spruce yourself up. I get it, because you're made of wood. Way to explain the joke, Donnie. You have the kinetic sensibility of a car door dox. I'm going to a black tie affair with this hot date. If I don't want to wear a vest under my tuxedo coat, what should I wear? Dolo tie, Connor Dund, Dolor Cat, or Nanacle? I believe you need to wear the cummerbund. A cummerbund is traditionally worn under a tuxedo jacket when a vest or waistcoat is not. Billy, I wish you would have told me about this earlier. I'll have to rent a tux if we're going to a black tie event. Come on, Cookie. Give me some room to dread. If you followed me any closer, you'd de at my dut. Yeah, I guess you already are. All right, back in the box. No! Go on a dot my hot date! <laughs> That about does it for round one. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And hint, hint, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's move on, shall we? Coming up next, my vitamins smell like chum. Ew. A lot of health nuts recommend taking fish oil every day. I'm a purist and like to get my fish oil straight from the source. That's why I blend up my own raw fish into these all-natural health fish shakes. Suppose I had four gills worth of liquefied fish gills. What kind of vessel would be most appropriate for it? A gallon jug, a pint glass, a shot glass, or a thimble? I don't know. We'll go with a small one. And none of those seem like the wrong answer for the game. Watch it. Here's the failing. Well, that wasn't so... <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> My throat burns. Ah, no. You deserve that. I'm okay. <coughs> this would have worked. A gill is a liquid unit of measurement equal to a quarter pint. So you would need a pint glass to hold four gills of gills. And before any of you high and mighty do-gooders get pissed off because I'm blending some poor helpless fish, let me defend myself. These fish were already dead when I took them from the orphanage cafeteria. Question yeah, that works. Say hello to... I cordially invite you to bring it on. Who dances in the most trashy way? The Rockettes, the Riverdance Company, Stomp, or New York City Ballet Company? Oh look, the Rockettes. The most trashy way? I believe Stomp actually uses trash, but... Why didn't you pick this? Stomp is a dance group known for implementing everyday items into their dance routine, including brooms, bins, and trash cans. I sat there for two hours, and honestly, I thought those people were stagehands cleaning everything up so the show could start. I was confused, but only because I thought I was in the theater that was showing puppetry of the penis. No, they just kick really high. And I know of another rocket that goes far up in the air. A hamster rocket, like the one you just won from Rocky's Rodent Rockets. Because life is too short to spend spinning in a wheel. Use a rocket instead. Today's no, I just wrong need answer a hamster. of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. Lord and chicken is picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. And 
and on its way, you can sleep when you tragically die. As we all know, Red Bull gives you wings. Well, which mythological character most likely drank some Red Bull in order to escape imprisonment? Ajax, Icarus, Pygmalion, or Sisyphus? That's a pretty easy one. To escape imprisonment, Icarus flies by means of artificial wings, just like Red Bull gives you wings. Of course, then he crashed into the sea and died, which means he really could have also used a five-hour energy drink. Because, as we all know, if you drink five-hour energy, you won't crash later. Except I never got any benefit out of five-hour energy. And now, I'm in the Monet. What do artists Claude Monet and comedian Frank Caliendo have in common? Both were born in Italy, both have a bridge named after them, both are Impressionists, or both went mad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Monet was an Impressionist painter. Claude Monet founded the French art movement Impressionism, while Frank Caliendo did impressions of Fat George W. Bush and John Madden for Mad TV in a variety of commercials. <laughs> But who can really say which artist will ultimately have more influence on our society? Actually, I'm pretty sure I know which one. Help me, never let me go. I do too, but I'm sad about it. Try this on for size. Foxholes. What could I do with a Glenn Beck? Eat it, warm my hands with it, wear it to a formal party, or dip my toes in it? Uh, Glenn. I don't know. Other than throw it off a cliff. Let's dip our toes in it. Why not? A glen is a valley and a beck is a swiftly running stream. So oh, I could definitely okay. dip my toe in a glen beck. Just have to be careful where I stick my toe. Don't want to accidentally go up sh creek. That looked like a flower pot. Brace yourself for the Kinda. attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. Four thousand if you're right. Four thousand gone if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. What's inside that box? Oh, I hope it's a present. Good luck. Um, the only thing left was hope. Where's hope? I guess they want the all evils, huh? Penalty box. A black box. Flight information. And Schrodinger's box. A cat. Whether it's alive or dead, we don't know. Red box. DVDs, yeah. And games. Pillar box. Almost let that one slip by. Um, yeah, we know what's in that box. Okay, give me pen for again. I'm looking for the all evils. I thought they would have gone with the hope answer myself. That's all she wrote! Wow, you really demolished that box question. It's almost like you know too much about boxes. It almost seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but you are in fact a box yourself. Am I right? I knew it. You don't know Jack! everyone. Donnie, what's next? All right, give me the hey sign if you're interested in more playage. Feeling tired, no, no more playage for me tonight, sleepy. but this has you been an another drink, week you go of You Don't Know Jack. Drink. It's guaranteed to keep you See you next week for more of this. Keep up with your brain. I just had two of them and I've never felt more Until then, I mean, sure, I'll leave you with the commercials. See you, folks. Hurts, and See you folks. My eyes are vibrating, but who cares? Because I just finished mowing my lawn and cleaning the bathroom and writing a novel and painting my house and building a garage. Who came up with that word garage anyway? It's such a weird word because it's got two Gs, you know, and they're both pronounced differently. And it's like, who decided that? One time I saw this guy at the bus stop and he had this weird And now a message from the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. I'm attorney Edgar J. Penrod. Have you recently been in an auto accident? 
Have you suffered major injuries? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then chances are you're the person I hit with my car last week. So call the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod today. Because hey, nobody wants to go to court, right? The law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. Sorry, our bad. She lives in a uterus all cozy and warm Just wait seven months till she's reborn She fits right into the palm of your hand Her Malibu incubator gives her a tan Aww. Ba -ba -ba Bedroom Buddies, Fetus Doll Factory The Bedroom Buddies Fetus Doll Because nine months is just too long to wait for a hug Bowling. Why ruin such a primal sport by gingerly putting your fingers through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl? Introducing fistable bowling equipment. For the dude who takes on the world knuckles first, we customize all of our balls, bags, and shoes so they fit your fist perfectly, and you can get right down to the business of punching out a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Fistable Bowling Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. This traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you, or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She looks so sweet. I don't know. Maybe she's a demon. And she's probably trying to stop me from getting my messages to the president. Now you're getting it. Thanks, Magical Pixie. I'm not even here. That's how good you're doing. Insanity. If you lived here, you'd be a giant duck already. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it. <laughs> if I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie mama. <laughs> That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. Do you ever feel like your fishy friends get the raw end of every deal? When the chihuahuas are carried around in their Louis Vuitton purses and the labradoodles are on long walks in their fur trim vests, your goldie fish is left.